What's up guys, and today, um, I'm gonna try to do a little, like, starter guide for Westbound, but I'm gonna do, like, try to do it in a part-time series, because I'm trying try to make a long video out of it, but it'll be a disaster, so I'm gonna start with the basics. Now, when we first start Westbound, we, you should know the basics, alright? So, you got the store, you know, you can buy Game Pass Coyote Coins, outfits, you can change, you know, your avatar, inventory tells you the stuff you have, right? Um, here's the menu. If you can, if you want to skip what I'm saying right now and take the tutorial, there's a tutorial right here too. That's totally fine. You can do what you want. And settings, you know, like I just clicked on, and become outlaw. All right. And we have quests. You know, for these quests, they're daily, so you, they're always like one quest always 30 coyote coins, one quest always 60, and one quest always gives you 200. And this button just to call your horse. Now let's get to the basics. Now when you first start. Westbound. You should start with a. Uh, hold on, let me go to my stash. Also, when around the map near like towns, you should find stashes and you can sort out your weapons. Anyways, so you start start with a Colt 45. You should start with a melee, five dynamite, and you should have a healing potion. One healing potion. Now, good thing to know how to start the game. You know, if you press Q. You can open up your weapon wheel. Alright? Now, I went over this in our video, but you can actually keybind your weapons on computer. Now, how you do it, you hover over the weapon you want to choose. For example, my Colt Navy. And now you press a number, and that keybinds it. So if I press 1, I pull it out. Now you don't have to worry about, like, shooting like this. You have to pull out the weapon wheel. Alright? Nothing much. Let me kill this person. Now, now you know how you, what you start with. The first thing you should do is try to look into getting a horse. Now, when you first start in the game, you don't start off a horse, alright? You can always go to this one horse, which are free. You can always click the one in the front, but it's not free. Or, or it is free, but like, basically it's not, it's temporary. Right? If you die with it, you can't call it back. Now, but if you want a permanent horse that you can call all the time, you go to your stable, right? This should be in each town, except Rustridge, I forget. But... Basically, you can start off a brown hybrid, you know, this dark brown, and you can buy it, call it, boom, easy as that. Now you know how to start. Now, I'm going to go into shops. Now, this is not a shop, but each town, like Rust, or S the three main cowboy towns, which are Rustridge, not Rustridge, Gray Ridge, sorry, Stone Creek, and Tumbleweed, should have a sheriff's office. Now, what the sheriff's office does is you can actually, you know, pay off your bounty. So, for example, if I just turn into an outlaw real quick, which I can do by breaking four windows like that, I can go to my nearest sheriff's office, pay off my bounty. Just like that. Or, you can lasso other outlaws and collect their bounties. Their alive bounties, just like that. Now, when you see this right here, you can see the wanted posters for the players, the highest bounties on the server. Now, this can be randomized in each server. Some might be high, like this one. Some might be low, like these. Alright? Now, how you catch people alive, like I just said, you take a lasso, which you get from the general store. I'll get into that later. You know, you lasso them. You have to make sure you're near the sheriff's shop. You can just go to, you know, right here. Lasso them, boom. Or you want the dead bounty, you just basically got to kill them. Just like that. Now, outlaws... Outlaws killing under outlaws, you cannot collect their bounties. But uh, also, a thing to know when when you kill somebody, right? They can drop their inventory sometimes. Not all of it, but at least some of the stuff they have. This can be randomized depending what they drop. You know, just like that. Anyways, let's get to the main part of stores. Now, when you walk in the tumbleweed, for example, right here, you got the general store. And this should be your, the first thing you should get. Now, the first thing you should get is a pickaxe. Now, I already got the pickaxe, but again, level 1 pickaxe, it's free. Alright, so you should buy a pickaxe at the start if you want to go mining. Now, there's money bag upgrades. You can read them right here. Full description. Here you got your lantern. You know, your healing potions. Alright. Also, you can sell off your stuff to the general store right here. Or mining, mining stores, which are in Stone Creek and, you know, Rustridge. Yeah. Anyways, now a good thing to know is because these two stores right here, 
They both sell healing potions, but this one sells um max. This one, this store can increase your capacity of how many potions you can have on hand. So if I bought this right now, which I'm not, because I want to save my money real quick. You know, I can get whole two healing potions, which are pretty good for PvP if you want to try it. All right. Now let's get to the gun store. Now when you go to the gun store, you know this is where you buy all your guns. Now you can. You can buy ammunition here, you can buy big dynamite, dynamite, you know, stuff for type of right guns, you know, etc. Now, you can right here, you can start off a bow and arrow, and you can see all the weapons on hand. Now, something with gun stores, not all stores hold the same guns, alright? What that means is, for example, this store, you can check right here, does not sell the double barrel shotgun. Now, as you can see right here, this is the double barrel shotgun. Now you can normally find these at, um, if I'm correct, Gray Ridge. You can buy a double barrel shotgun there, and it's pretty good. Now some stores might not sell certain guns you're looking for, so you have to go to the other towns and buy them. Just a quick reminder. Now you're probably wondering, okay, so what are rifle, pistol, sniper, shotgun ammo? That should be basic, you know. For example, this uses bow and arrows. This uses pistol ammo, which are always free. Pistol ammo is always free. Good thing to know. Shotgun and but all the you know other ammo just costs money, right? You can see right here. You got all your guns right here. You know, buy them. You know that. Now that's really about it. I want to teach right now, like the basics of the shops. You know, how to get a horse. You know what what each thing does. And yeah, that's really all about it. Also banks. Um, you can just basically go rob banks when you're an outlaw. And yeah. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna try to make this a part time series, like I said. I'll go into other stuff later on. And anyways, yeah, that's about it. Make sure to like, dislike, do whatever you want, you subscribe if you want, and yeah, that's about it. See ya.